Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, in today's video, I'm going to be doing a clothing haul, which I haven't done in a while. Do I want these sun? No, I don't want these sunglasses on. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be doing a clothing haul, which I haven't done in a while because I kind of figured I bought so much stuff towards like the end of last year and during last year, and we're still like in not lockdown, lockdown, but like not normal life. So I figured, why am I buying all this stuff? Um. But this month I have actually bought a few things because we're getting slowly back to like normal and I just fancied some new stuff for going out in. So that is what I bring to you today. So we've got Sheen, Sheen, whatever you would call it, uh, Misguided, Bo Avenue and ASOS. And yeah, can you actually believe that I'm doing a clothing haul without PLT? Like I'm shook and I don't know how I feel about it, but yeah, I still love my PLT, but um, everything that I fancied was like from Facebook ads. It literally just came up and so this is how it ended up with all this stuff. So let's just jump right into the video. So I think I'm gonna start with Sheen, Sheen, however you want to call it. So I hate when people are like, uh the first thing is actually what I'm wearing, but the first thing is actually what I'm wearing. So I got this uh satin shirt from Sheen. It's super super cute. I love it. It is full length but I've just like tied it. So I've been kind of wearing it like this. Um, I absolutely love it. It's like a wee satiny shirt. Um, I will pop in how much everything is. I don't think it says. No, it doesn't say how much everything is. But I'll pop in anything that I don't know or remember. I'll pop in the size and how much it was. But Sheen's cheap. I think this was the most expensive thing I bought. Um, so yeah, um, the next thing I got were these kind of turquoisey greeny teal shorts so i seen these on another website well a similar kind of one and i really like them but they were like 35 pound i thought that's a bit steep for shorts so then i just typed in like green shorts on sheen and these ones came up i'm absolutely obsessed they're so nice they're kind of like a bit tailored so they're dressy shorts and it, mm. <coughs> well that was a tickle in my throat I'm just back from an Indian for tea. I feel like I'm like just full. So yeah, um, this is them. Oh, that's the colour kind of close up. So it's like a, a minty green. And there's like a wee kind of crock button. And um, they're a really cute and nice length. And I'm obsessed. I'm really happy with my little bargain with those. As they were like, I think they were like less than £10. Pound. Um, and I know it's not like environmentally friendly and all that. But I do like how they come in little bags. I think that's really nice. This top came in a little bag as well. Um, the next thing I got from Sheen. So, in fact, I got this, these shorts, in a large. And I am actually glad I got them in a large. And this is a skirt next. And I got this in a medium. So, let me get out to show you. Oh, um... Yes, this is a medium. So oh, I should have um, checked that it was all zipped up. So, oh God, I've got it caught now with those little hangy things. Yeah, so next is this little cute skirt. So it's kind of, well, it's like kind of full length on me, but it's meant to be like midi, I think. Um, and it's got like a little slit here. So it's really nice and cute and kind of summery vibes, floaty. But you could also like wear it in winter with like a thick jumper, nice big jacket and like boots. So it's a versatile piece. So I tell myself. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't really have like cute little skirts like that. And I want to start getting more. So that was my first one. In you come Lola. In you come Lola Lou. That's Lola just breaking in. It's gonna bother me that that's open, I think. So I'm just gonna go and shut that. Oh my God, I just kicked the unit, that hurt a lot. Hi. Hi, pretty. Little Lola had a little operation this week. So she got her lady bitch removed. So she's got a little cut, don't you? You wanna show them? Look at her belly, it's all shaved. <laughs> but she's absolutely fine. Um, so back on to the haul. Next is something a bit like weird for me, but I kind of liked it. 
and I got this in a medium I'm pretty sure yes a medium everything fitted as well which I was chuffed with so it's just this little kind of crop graphic tee so it just says like New York and it's very creased because I did take it out to try it on I just shoved it back in the bag but yeah I really just like the colours and I thought it'd be nice for like a casual summer with like jeans what do you think do you like it and yeah it's it's a good vibe I like it just casual because I don't have casual clothes I always feel like I'm overdressed which is absolutely fine because I like being overdressed but yeah I saw that it was like three pound so yeah and then next is another little crop and I got this in a medium as well um I don't like this one as much as the other one as I feel like this one's quite thin uh, it's not see-through but I don't know I just feel like it's a bit thinner so it's just another little crop and it's just a little v-neck so yeah little flowers also going for like a casual kind of vibe with that so that was everything I got from Sheen like I say I'll uh, post the prices and stuff on the screen somewhere but I'm pretty sure my order wasn't more than for a five pound I think that's quite good if you ask me so next we'll move on to misguided so I did actually return one thing from misguided um jeans because I bought them oh now Lola wants down okay one sec you go yeah I bought them um well yeah I bought them and they didn't fit that's all there is to it I don't have a story behind it um, so the first thing that I'm going to show you is this and I love this this uh no it doesn't have the price but I got this in a 12 because I thought it would be small um so it's this little leather play suit and it's got like a belt on the middle it's like so and I just thought it was really nice like I thought this would be dressy with like heels um and yeah and it is so I, I'm happy with this I really like it and I think I'm gonna wear this on my birthday either away for the become with Declan or out with my friends I haven't decided yet but I think all this stuff I'm gonna I've got ideas for where I'm gonna wear this misguided stuff and uh, so the next thing I got is this little milkmaid kind of style dress um, I got this in a 10, yes a 10 and it fits perfectly, I really 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 like this, it's actually got like a stretchy back so that's always nice and this is what it looks like so it's kind of got like the little milkmaid sleeves and it's got a frilly kind of hem there and it's also got like a bit of a cut out there, I thought it was actually ripped at first but it's not and it does have like kind of like cups or oh, you literally won't be able to see that sewn in yeah that's irrelevant you can't see that and then there's a little kind of tie at the front and just for like a wee bow for added effect and it's just a really super cute little dress for summer and um, again I would wear this in winter with tights thick tights boots and like a gilet or something like that so I'm either gonna wear that oh my god Lola lady come on She's a little menace. Um, so yeah, I've got two, three kind of things. I've got my friend Carla's birthday coming up and I've got my birthday with the girls and my birthday with Declan. So I'm gonna wear one of each of these to something of that, if that makes sense. So the next dress I got is still from Misguided and I think I got in a 10 as well. Oh no, I got this one in a 12. I don't know why I do this random sizing. So yeah, I got this in a 12, so I'm not really too sure why I like jump about with sizes, probably for what's in stock, but I'm glad I got this one in a 12. So this is it, it's like milkmaid style again with the puffy sleeves, and it's just a cute little short dress, and it's just got like buttons all the way up here. So it's cute detail, they're like faux buttons though, and um, they're just like sewn on, and this bit is like double lined up in your boobage area. So yeah, it's just a really super cute, nice little fitted dress. And that's everything I got from Misguided. So next I'm going to move on to Bow Avenue. And the next two things have like a little, well, the next thing has a 
wee story and the last thing has a really really large story that I'm going to try and cut down for you guys so the next thing is from Vo Avenue and it is this amazing bright hot pink gym set so I got the sports bra and I have worn this once so I got this cool sports bra and on the back it's just like this and it's got like bows like bow sport on the back and it's got cups in here as well which I don't think you can take out which I didn't know they were there and I don't tend to buy bras like this but I mean it doesn't really bother me so yeah it's a stunning like hot pink colour and then I got the bottoms to match which I'm obsessed with so on the back it's just got the bow sport and they're just like a long legging and I wasn't sure what to make of these and I'll tell you why because of the price um, but yeah, so they're like super stretchy and they just totally remind me of like Gymshark. They've got like the kind of same, like I've got leggings from Gymshark that have that like kind of holes, like air breathing, I don't really know. Um, yeah, these are unreal quality, like unreal quality. I was so shocked. I'm better than Gymshark. Every pair of Gymshark leggings I've had um, have ripped in between my legs and I know loads of people that do this that have had the same and they do replace them for free which to me they know there's a problem if that makes sense like if it was a one-off um or it wasn't like a common issue then they'd be like um well I don't know I just think the fact that you don't even have to argue with them about it they just replace them can I say something? So every pair of leggings I've had have ripped hair and I'm not saying these aren't going to rip over time but they're just so I'm just so impressed and can we just drum roll £6 £10 and yeah that's not the normal prices of it Um, I was just scrolling on Facebook and it came up as an advert and it said like six ten pound and I was like no way and I went on to it and I was like oh they'll be like extra 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 large left and like extra, extra, extra small left there won't be like my common size but no there was so I went on and there was all sizes was left so I got medium in the bottoms and the top I'm glad I got medium in the leggings but I could have definitely got small in the top just because this kind of padding is just makes it feel big I think and because it's stretchy could have definitely got small um, but normally I've got here, so the Fuchsia Jacquard Racer Back Crop Top, £22 normally. And the bottoms, Fuchsia Jacquard Textured Leggings, £35 normally. So I got an absolute steal. So I did, this video is going up this Friday, which is the 28th. And I'm filming this on the Saturday before. And I did order them just like last week. So hopefully they might still have them in sale. But they had blue, they had green, black, pink, but they had a huge overall sale. Like I nabbed these in my basket and I just checked out straight away. And I was like, oh, I should have looked what else they had sale, but they had like really nice bras, like down from £35 to like £8. So check out Bo's sale. I was so impressed. So I hope it's still on when this video goes up. But um yeah totally totally recommend these i was very impressed with the quality and uh, last but not least is something that sorry got tickle on my nose did that door just move um yeah last but not least is a dress that i don't know if everyone will like which is fine um but there's a story behind it so i have got a wedding um in june which i'm super excited about and oh god I don't, I'm trying to zip this up to show you. And uh, I ordered a bunch of dresses. Oh, sorry, it's, it's a wedding dance. So this is like the key part, I think. Um, and I ordered loads of like long dresses and ordered from Pink Boutique, Chi Chi London, like loads of different ones. And I just didn't love any of them. And then one of my friends was like, I seen this dress and it made me think of you. And I was like, okay, like show me. So she sent me it and I was like, oh, I actually really, really, really like it. So I ordered it. Can't get the button to tie, so I'll just show you it. Um, yeah, Declan likes it. My mum and dad don't, which normally, normally like go with my mum, but she doesn't like it that much, but I do. So that's the main thing. How will be best to show you this? This is hard. Probably the try on clip. But yeah, this is it. 
so it's really like airy fairy floaty like whimsical but it is short it's a short dress which normally i wouldn't opt for for a wedding but because it's a wedding dance in the evening and the venue is quite like airy fairy whimsical like super pretty like fairy tale so i feel like i'll be okay because i'll get off with it but i absolutely love it and you just can't see it at all in the try on haul so i got this in a 12 right so this is sorry so i went on and i was gonna get a 10 and a 12 because i didn't know which size would fit and the 10 no the 10 was in stock um but asos i don't ever 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 shop on asos and i tell you this i will not be shopping on asos ever again um they have like a sizing assistant so i went on that and you can basically put in like uh your height your weight like all your measurements basically and they would tell you what the perfect size for the dress was so i was like oh okay that's quite handy so i put in all my bits and bobs and it came up saying that it was a 14 that would be my perfect size and i was like all right okay and um, so i thought right well well they'll know so i was like right i'll get a 12 and a 14 instead of a 10 and a 12 so I ordered, I oh, was making noises, um, I ordered the uh, 12 and the 14, so that was fine, that was a Friday night, and then on the Sunday we ended up ordering Declan suits, also from ASOS, hang on, I'm just going to check, she's okay, well up, what's wrong? Yeah, so we ordered Declan suits from ASOS, and then they came on the Thursday, so I, we ordered them on the Sunday and they came on Thursday, that was fine. No sending my dresses and it was Hermes tracking and they hadn't even received my dresses yet. And I was like, okay. So I went on to the live chat and the girl was like, oh, um, yeah, so they'll be coming. And I was like, well, they've not, the Hermes don't have them yet. And it's past the expected delivery and an order that I placed two days after the dresses has already came and she was like oh no they'll be coming they'll be coming so anyway i'm trying to cut this long story short so uh they never came obviously and i went back onto the chat and she was like oh you need to wait for like uh 72 hours after your expected delivery and um, because they could still come and i was like no they they won't because they've not been sent like the track and still like waiting to be received they've not even left with asos from the tracking and they were she was like just going back and forth and it was like speaking to a robot so i mentioned my consumer rights and she cut me off so i was livid so i was going back and forth for about five days trying to like get these dresses either resent or the order cancelled or somebody to help me um, so then somebody with one of the chats was like, yeah, they've not left ASOS warehouse, so they're deemed lost, like it's been over a week since you ordered them and they've still not left. So I was like, oh my god, like I could actually cry. Thank you for acknowledging that they're actually lost. Um, so she was like, okay, I'll get them. Do you want them cancelled or sent out? And I was like, well, no, I still want them. So she's like, okay, I'll send them out next day delivery, um, done now. So then the next day I get an email thinking it was going to be my confirmation or my tracking or whatever. And it was that that couldn't happen because it was still like within their time frame that it could be found or something. So I was like, what, what's going on? I was literally told yesterday that it was done, like they'd been physically sent. So it's like, I've basically just been lied to and so oh, i had to go back on the chat the next day because that would have been out of their time frame and i get those policies and all that stuff um so i went back on and the person was helpful and they said yep that's them sent out um you'll get a confirmation in the next 48 hours for your replacement order and uh, so that was fine so i got my email uh saying my order had been replaced and then my Klarna updated to say the the new cost and I was like, well, there's no new cost because it's the same. And they were only charging me for one dress. And I thought, oh, am I getting like one for free because of the hassle? So I went on to my actual ASOS orders and they'd only replaced one dress. So I wanted the whole order replaced, which they knew. And they only sent one of the two dresses. So I had to go back on and they're like, oh, I'm really sorry. Like this isn't our usual service. 
um, we'll get this investigated for you and all this stuff. And I was like, and, ah, it's not been sent next day delivery. And can you tell me which size has been sent? And they were like, I can't tell you what one's been sent. We don't know. Um, and uh, sorry about the next day delivery. And I was like, that's two people now, like, lied. So this was an absolute disaster. I wasn't going anywhere with it. Um, and then they got back to me to say, oh, the dress out of stock. And I said, no, it's not. I've checked every single day because I wondered if that was like, why it was still shown available online and I could have bought it again. Um, so I was like, whatever. So I ended up just giving up because I'd spent probably four hours of my life in the past week on this ASOS chat to get absolutely nowhere. And I was like, I bet you the dress that comes doesn't even fit. So anyway, it was the 12 that arrived and I could have literally gotten a 10 because it is actually big in like some areas. So moral of the story asos customer service is awful moral of the story too asos size and assistant is awful told me a size 14 and i could have definitely got two sizes smaller and uh this is still going on like they said my client is gonna update to show only one dress but i was like it's already shown one dress so i don't know what's gonna happen so yeah absolute disaster tweeted asos like from three separate occasions add into my trail of everything that happened customer service was awful they haven't ever responded to me um on twitter to be fair the live chat was responsive but they could never ever help because it was always we'll have to raise this with another team we'll have to escalate this and it never ever really got resolved because they lost my order they denied they lost my order they told me they resent the order, then I got told that they never, then I had to ask them to do it again. So when they finally sent the replacement order, they only sent half of the order. So yeah, an absolute fail from ASOS, like completely. So yeah, this dress is stunning, but it'll be the last time I ever order from ASOS. So yeah, I, I say that and I'll have a bloody ASOS haul next month. Nah, I'm joking. I absolutely will not ever order from ASOS ever again after that experience. It was so stressful saying it back to you guys doesn't sound stressful at all but it really was because well girls know how hard it is to find a dress for a, a wedding well any dress but especially for a wedding i just wanted them to come and they just couldn't they just couldn't and i don't if i think if i hadn't have gone on the live chat this would never be resolved i'll still be sat waiting for these dresses that were never ever coming um and yeah i was just really appalled that the advisor cut me off um I wasn't rude or anything, I just merely quoted my rights and she cut me off and ASOS haven't acknowledged it and I just think that's really bad customer service. So yeah, that's my ASOS rant. Um, I do hope you enjoyed this video. I absolutely love filming clothing hauls. I haven't done one in ages. So yeah, I'm really happy and hope you're all doing fine. And thanks for watching and I'll speak to you in the next one. Bye guys.